I'm now pleased to be joined, joined by Barnaby Rain, the journalist and historian. Barnaby, thank you for coming in. I'm sure you understand why Armistice Day is a very special day, that it's one where the war dead are commemorated. Now, I'm a great believer in freedom of speech, that people have the right to protest. But isn't it wise not to protest on a day that is held aside for something special? With all due respect, Jacob, I don't think you're a great believer in freedom of speech or that you understand much about Armistice Day. It's literally called Armistice Day and we're marching for an armistice. So ask yourself this question. Who are the, pe who are the people who better represent the traditions of Wilfred Owen and Siegfried Sassoon? Who are the people who better represent the traditions of horror at the carnage of war? Is it a government that is funding and supporting a state that has murdered over 10,000 people now in Gaza, including 4,000 children? Or is it those of us who will pour onto the streets from every community well, across Britain to say that we want the massacre to stop? Well, first of all, you're taking the Hamas figures, which we know are unreliable, and that they've exaggerated some of the figures for their own propaganda purposes. Jacob, every and single started, figure produced by the Gaza Health Ministry has an Israeli-issued ID number the, attached to it, Jacob. The, the, are you saying those figures the, aren't the, true? The Gaza Health Ministry is part of the Hamas state. It's a Jacob, Hamas state. they have an Israeli-issued ID number attached to them. Did the, you know that? The, the figures that are coming out of Hamas Did you know are that? propaganda. Did you know they have an Israeli-issued they are, they are part of the Hamas state. That's the key point. The Israeli number is an irrelevance. But let's David, get, let's get on. Every let's single, get on to what... Every single name of a human on. being released let's, is a verified name. And we've seen pictures of hundreds, start, sometimes thousands of people... Let's start with how this began. When their homes were bombed, when their hospitals okay, were bombed, and the head of when the UN, the camps were The bombed. head of the UN points out that Hamas is using people as human shields. So terrorists are hiding behind children, the ale, elderly and the unwell. And that, really okay these terrorists... Are you really okay? Okay with this? With terrorists? Really okay? Of course I'm not okay with terrorists no, using human Jacob, shields. Jacob, it's disgraceful. Really it's okay? wicked. Are you really okay with the bombing of a refugee camp? Human shields no, are being used by Hamas. Just answer the question, because well, we're on the streets because we're not okay with it. Are you okay with no, the bombing of a refugee you're camp? You're on the streets supporting, giving succour to people who carried out the worst massacre of Jews since the Holocaust. Are you okay with that? We're That's okay. where it started. We're on the streets to oppose the bombing of refugee camps, hospitals, homes, where, schools. Jacob, where did people this, left, where people did this left, start? Well, it started in 1948 with the ethnic cleansing of 700,000 Palestinians. When this people started... Left, on the 7th no, of October Jacob, with the murder with the of, of 1,300 people and babies being beheaded. You're justifying that. Jacob, there are 2.2. Of course not. I okay, want, I want, so will you criticise Hamas listen, as terrorists? Listen, listen, I want the violence to end. Here's how the violence can end. There are 2.2 million people penned into an open-air prison in Gaza. The significant majority of those people are not from Gaza. They're refugees who were ethnically cleansed from their homes in 1948. Now, I know that the people you admire are fine with that. Winston Churchill said he didn't mind when a superior race displaced an inferior one. No. That's how he talked about what happened no. in Palestine. But, but some of us mo feel from all over Britain... Most of the people... But you, you've had plenty of time. Most of the people living in Israel have had to go there fleeing persecution where they lived, and mainly persecution in the Middle East. No, actually, that's yes. not true. Uh, They're mainly I mean, Sephardi some Jews. Of, some of my family members who live in yeah. Israel came from, from Europe. Yes, but, but the majority didn't. Europe? The majority you know why, came from the Middle East. Do you know East? why my family went to Israel, Jacob? It's because white Christian Europeans who believed in tradition and hierarchy spent 2,000 years excluding and then massacring us. So I will take no lectures from white Christian Europeans who believe in order and hierarchy about anti-Semitism. Uh, you Just because people like you spent thousands of years murdering us, I don't think Palestinians... People like me did not price. do that, actually. Well, you can't, well, you can't Christian blame Europe me. Did. White Christian you Europe can't blame did. me for you know, things you know that have nothing do? to do with me. Do you know me. why I do? Do you know why I do? Because the same logic that says that some life is worthwhile and other lives aren't, that logic that no, for centuries Christian Europe All life, Christian all Europe life is valuable. Jews all life is valuable. valuable. But now, surely, that same logic is meted out to Palestinians. Surely the state of Israel, surely the state of Israel has the right to defend itself. Palestinians who are ethnically cleansed to pay for Europe's But they're not ethnically cleansed. This just isn't true. They're not ethnically cleansed. That why the, is Gaza the most, one of the, the most densely populated places the in the world? The Israeli state Why? is trying to defend itself following an appalling attack. Why is and it's Gaza trying the most to get terrorists. In the world? And these terrorists are using human shields um, to protect themselves. That's the thing that ought, you ought to be condemning. Repeatedly, the Israeli state has made claims about human shields, which have been exposed by and the United Nations. And now accepted by the United Nations. By, by, the head of the United Nations, we had on a clip... 
10 minutes ago with the head of the United Nations saying human shields I, were I just being don't used. Understand. So are you now saying he's lying? I just don't understand why you're kind of visibly happy at the ability to justify the murder of enormous numbers of innocent people. The IDF's headquarters, the IDF's headquarters is in a residential neighborhood in Tel Aviv. Nobody. According to any definition that Israel uses, that means Israel mm. uses human shields. It doesn't mean. Nobody doesn't wants mean, innocent people to be killed. Nobody wants innocent people to be killed. So do you think Britain should stop funding and supporting it? Except, except Hamas wants innocent people to be killed. No, they, Hamas, Hamas, Hamas kills. Aren't people, Hamas aren't the people sending weapons to the Israeli state, which has killed 4,000 children. Your government is. So do you support it? Hamas or not? is the one that killed innocent people and killed babies. Four deliberately children Jacob deliberately so Hamas goes out and kills as a matter of policy innocent people I want to and know then they hide behind innocent people to avoid justice do you know that's what, what you're defending do you know what I want I'm, I'm a Jew right I want to be able to go and pray at the Western Wall and I want to be able to pray there next to pa my Palestinian friends Muslims and Christians in peace and freedom it's not possible I don't want to pray under a gun that occupies and oppresses the indigenous people of Palestine. I don't want to pray, I don't want to go to parties, as people went to parties on October the 7th, five miles away from an open air prison in which 2.2 million people are penned in without access to sufficient food and water. So, I don't want that status quo. I want okay, I understand end. that. So I are you therefore end, willing to condemn the actions on the 7th of October? I want a world where it doesn't happen. No, so are you willing to I condemn it or are you in fact happen. sitting here justifying I want, it? I, of course I'm not justifying it. So you're willing to condemn it as an act of terrorism? Of course I'm not justifying it. I want... And is a state entitled to defend itself against an act of terrorism? To, let me just ask the question back to you. Are you willing to condemn the murder of 10,000 people, including 4,000 children, I aren't don't, supported by the British state, and of whose parliament you are a member? Are I, support, you I support the, the Israeli the state's question. right to defend itself you the, against the attacks on innocent civilians, you the which you are not being clear about condemning. Do you support the displacement of 300 children in recent weeks in the are you, are, you are you willing, state. Are you you willing to condemn this attack on the 7th of October? I don't want anyone You're to You're not. Die. I'm afraid Barnaby isn't die. willing uh, Jacob, to, attack, to condemn to die. Hamas I don't want anyone attack. to die, but it's your As always, let me know your thoughts, mailmog at gbnews.com. Coming up, you've had ages to bang on.